Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cold Ones. I'm your host, Chad. Anything for views? Yeah. Yeah. And joining me today is my uh, my mate. Hello. Shout out to our sponsors. <laughs> uh, I play that daily. And cool shirts out of shirts of the Z cool and use code Cold Ones for ten percent off. Today's guest is a Californian Jigglypuff main, former Twitch streamer, holds the record for most subscribers. I know we do it one more time. Today's guest is a Californian main. Sorry. <clears throat> Today's guest is a man from California who makes. <laughs> And uh, a Twitch streamer. No, not a Twitch streamer anymore, but he is uh, pretty... I'm gay. He was a Twitch streamer. Now he's gay. I, I'm almost done. Uh, he's most well known for his subathon on Twitch. It lasted 31 days. Now you'll find him over at YouTube, where he makes gaming, commentary, reaction, and... Um, Just variety content variety around, content. really. Yeah, he has a game show as well. Mogul Moves. He does, he's done a lot of things. Mogul, Mogul, Mogul Money. Mogul Money. Mogul Money. Hey, everyone, welcome to Ludwig. <laughs> it is? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, fucking hell. What? I just saw the nicest ass in the world. Everyone, Ludwig! Yeah. Welcome, man, welcome. Ludwig. Ludwig. Hey, cheers, <sighs> VB Long Neck for the boys. It's literally not a long neck. But I've never had one before. Cheers. This is fucking cheers, disgusting. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's delicious. Yep. <sighs> Smells like my dad. Mm, how does great. that compare to American beer? It's more bitter. Put some skin on your teeth, though, you know? We, we say it puts some hair on your chest. Well, yeah. I have no hair on my chest. Really? Show me now. Do you shave it? <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. I grew one hair. What about the snail trail at the bottom there? You only grow hair there? That's bullshit. Is that where you had your appendix out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a scar here, too. How do you know about that? I know about that. But I also had my appendix out, so I was like, man, I feel You had appendicitis? Pretty... Yeah. It I sucks, huh? Mine out. Yep. We're like the Marines. We're brave, yes. Chad. I had cancer. Who asked? <laughs> he had brain cancer. Who asked? So. <laughs> we had appendicitis, so. Chad, where's your scar? Let me see your scar. It's on the back of my he head. Actually does have Do you? He actually has a This must have been a long time ago if your hair is this long, it? right? That's a good scar. I don't like yeah. looking at it. It looks like a v when I was really young because I hadn't grown into the skin on, that they put on my head. So. You had baby brain cancer? Yeah. That's the saddest type. Chad, do you, you say it looked like a It looked like a because the skin was folded Did over. Did you ever take a photo of the back of your head then it? I think they had phones when I was, when I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I just fucking, I explained you pretty well, but how would you explain yourself, Mr. Ludwig? No. You explain me like shit. I don't even think you know what I do. So you Twitch streamer, okay? The f I Literally not. Pretty you're good. already off. You, okay, used to be Twitch streamer. There you go. Let's go through the things that you said. Californian man. Is that true? Born in California. No, no wrong. Why was that on the script? <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote the script? Darcy. I live in California, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're California. I was born in New Hampshire. I lived Whatever. in New Hampshire. Okay. Why'd you move to California? Because I got a job interview. Okay, and what was the job interview for? Uh, I worked at a wine and spirits magazine. Uh, what was your job like entitled? Literally uploading stories they wrote in the magazine to the internet, but I got fired. Mm. What, for drinking? <laughs> Why is that your first thought? Well, it's a wine magazine, right? Sure, no. they give you out samples or something. Yeah, but that's all right. There's no, there's no problem with drinking on the job. The problem was that I like there was one story, and you had to put like a caption underneath the picture. Yeah. It was like three people. It was like a woman, a man, and a man. And I wrote like like John left. And it was accident. It was like Betty, and, and I put John, and I just fucked up the names. But she called in that rat. She was like, Wait, "Why is my name a man's name?" And she was like, "A big enough donor, because magazines make no money." That they fired me the next day. Really? Yeah. Now you're in California. Yeah. You've been fired. <laughs> right. You don't have a job. Uh huh. <laughs> then what? The <laughs> I got another job. Well, as a who? I've heard you've been fired from a lot of jobs. Uh, it's exaggerated. Okay. I was fired from Apple. I did tech support, and I got fired. I worked two and a half years because I showed up late too much. Okay. At but least I had a good reason. I had a good reason. Okay. I worked from home. So kind of weird to show up late. But my reason was my girlfriend cheated on me. We broke up and I was sad. And every time I would enter a call, I would be, <laughs> dude, I'd be so mad. I'd be mad at like poor 70 year old boomers who want to reset their phone. And so I just, I, I couldn't show up to work. And when I would get on the call sometimes, I'd just throw off my headset and then just go sit on the couch and watch. That seems like April. a valid reason to fire you. I'm not going to lie. No, I was a terrible employee. Okay, right, That's why yeah. they fired me. I was working Best Buy at the same time because yep. there were two part-time jobs. Left that, didn't get fired. Okay. Great Best Buy right. employee. Yeah, good, good, One of the good. best. Yep. Then I went to work at Snapchat, got fired. You did con content moderation, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched like in like breast reduction videos and would approve it or not approve it. I got fired because 
well, they just cut 80% of all the staff and they kept the top 20 and I was not in the cut. Is it like people uploading stuff to a particular category or like how, how does it work? Like for those things that where Snapchat has like a thing where you submit it to a thing, is that what it is? Yeah, like there's like Cannes Film Festival and then right. people like submit like, I'm at Cannes, check me out. And no, uh -huh. most of it's normal, but sometimes it's like flashing titties yeah. or it's like literal surgery that people upload to promote right. their surgery business. Did you ever allow any of the surgery stuff to go All through? the time. It's like a mini game. It's like you have <laughs> buttons and it's like this button if they say slow, this button if it's nudity, this button if it's surgery. And then you hit enter and then some, like when it's, uh, you hit enter, it's gone. That's a YouTube bot age restricting our videos. Well, the next job I, I got, I worked at a vape company. Uh -huh. It was the last real job I had. I worked there for like six months and then I got fired. Did you say doing marketing? Yeah, I did marketing, so yeah. I would try to get kids to vape. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. That's good. I'm literally addicted. It was easy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just show up to like the elementary schools. I say, get started young. Are you actually that serious? Is no, that of course not. What the <laughs> fuck, Chad? Man, he's from America. I wouldn't be that's fucking true. surprised. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Like the guns in Walmart. Yeah. I feel wow. like yeah. vapes are giving handed out of schools. Is like that's how Jewel became really big, is they would go to college campuses. They would find smokers and they'd say, here, and they'd give them a free oh, Jewel. I was like, this is a totally um, a healthy replacement yeah. for you, man. We're going to help you out. <laughs> Up, man. And then they post a bunch of pics on social media of like a hot college kids vaping and jeweling. Mm. And then they got really big. And then they deleted all of it. And they're like, we only want to make people quit smoking. Man, I miss my jewel. I've quit it all. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, man. Kind of. You on your way? He hasn't quit. No, no. What? Like, I mean, like, all of You give me the fist when, bump. No, when I'm fucked up. I'm retracting my fist bump. Put your fist to mine. I'm retracting Sorry. it. Fucked up. Chad got us addicted on Chinese fucking vapes. Really? I can fully explain. Please. <laughs> it's illegal here. All of vaping is? It's illegal. It's you meant can't to get uh, a jewel. You can. You can. It's meant to be illegal. It's actually meant to be illegal. Like they can't display it, but it's under the counter. But they're like 20, 30 bucks for a vape here. This is pretty expensive. Right, yeah. And I'd go through two a day, which is fucked up. So I went on Alibaba. I found a vape supplier in China. I ordered them in bulk. So I ordered like 500 vapes at a time. They're basically the same exact ones. And the, well. they are. They, you remember Puff Bars? Did yeah. you ever have yeah. They were Puff Bars. I just ordered Puff Bars. And then I'd bring boxes of them into the office and I'd be sucking on them and I'd be like, ah, oh, now Scott, try this. Max, try this. It's so like a dollar or two dollar each yeah. when you get a thousand plus in bulk. And half of them don't work, but I mean, it's yeah. still cheaper. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, yeah, Max, have this. And then I stopped vaping because it was killing me. Like I'd legit wake up in the morning with a headache until I hit it. And I tried again. I just hate it now. It just makes me feel sick. And right. They can't quit now. Do you feel guilty? Nope. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I'm not their fucking parents. It's their fault. <laughs> like, shit. You should feel a little bad, by the way. No. I think I will. Should I feel bad for working at a vape company? Nope. <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> yeah, right. <here. laughs> I did have a genius idea. My idea was I, I would watch FaZe Banks. <laughs> 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 and Alyssa Violet. And I noticed they were vaping. Oh, sorry. He is bold. <laughs> yeah. Go on. So I noticed them vaping, and I was like, oh, genius idea. What we do is we create a, a monthly plan where every month we send you the vape, but it reduces in nicotine every month. So you go from like 50 or 5% I don't to like. I think a vape company wants to hear that. Did you just vape into his face? <laughs> Yeah, that's 3.5%. <laughs> you go from 5% down to zero over the course of the year to try to get them off. Okay. That's going to a tobacco company and going, right. we should sell lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> There's a market. You can't sell lettuce here anymore. It's fucking a commodity here. Did you know that? What? The lettuce shortage. Is it because you have so much E. coli in your normal lettuce? If you buy lettuce from any fast food place now, it's cut with cabbage. It's like a they cut it's it? It's like a drug. Like heroin? Yes, it's cut with cabbage. <laughs> it's not a joke. We had floods here, so now we got low cabbage. I mean, hey, better than what's happening in LA. What's happening in LA? A drought. Uh, I thought you were talking about uh, school shootings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one problem with that that thing with making people quit. Yeah. What happens if you sign someone to quit vaping and they finally quit and then there's a photo of them vaping again? Like if FaZe Banks dropped a photo after? Yeah, and he's still vaping. It'd be a bit of a scandal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that happens right. with any industry though, because people do that with other stuff. Like Jared, you know, losing weight, losing weight, Subway losing weight, <laughs> and kids. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that was a big fucking for them. And that's why we didn't do the bank deal, because we were worried about the same thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you watched the podcast before? Yeah. Me and my girlfriend watch a lot. She this always hates it when you guys start throwing up, though. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to be happening. That's going to be you. Yeah, you. No. Tonight. Yeah. I told you my eight beer limit. Okay. Yes! Okay. We 
we have a new game. Scott, can you please explain it into the mic? Because I don't actually know what it is fully yet. I didn't read the chat. It's very easy to explain. I didn't, I didn't read the group chat. Grogy friends. All right, so you got to verse me in a beer drinking competition. Basically, we want to bring this back each time. You're the mm -hmm. first. Chad is very, very good at drinking No, no, beer I'm drink. out of practice. He's That's being modest. I know he's being modest because I saw him drinking what I thought was a cup of water earlier, and it was vodka straight. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, I haven't drank in, in three days. No, yeah, seven, he says that. I'm, seven, out, of, I'm out of seven, touch. Seven. Do you, have you ever slammed a beer? Quick? I've slammed a couple beers. Are you good at drinking them fast? I think I'm all right. I personally think Chad will remain on the top of this leaderboard. You yeah, poured you like pour Hillary Clinton. Show it, no, no, show it to the camera. Show you did Hillary. You also got her hair cut. Right. This glass must now be the drinking mug for every guest. We have to keep this exact glass. By the way, we're selling these. Not this particular left-handed version. This will come out in like three months, right? Prezzo, hey, in August. Can't wait for this to come out in September. He was keen to edit the Ludwig episode. He's keen? Yeah. He's gay as. So, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. He's heaps gay. He's heaps he's gay. gay. He's Please, do not be afraid to look into the camera and ask Prezzo to edit anything you want. <laughs> okay, can you edit Doja Cat's p***y lips? Okay. okay. <laughs> they come yeah, down? Okay. <laughs> no. Are you guys no. worried about getting demonetized? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you have that in your videos? He's, got a, he's probably got some fucking secret. Do, be honest. Okay. Do you have someone at YouTube you can just go to and be like, make sure it's green or you're fired? No. Of course not. <laughs> he's lying! <laughs> uh, no, I got fucking Susan's phone number, man. It's different for me. Do you actually? <laughs> yeah. Show me right now your last text to Susan. Well, I don't. It's, <laughs> it's tour management. It's like, hey, when are you guys coming? Hey, when you up? Can you ask Susan if she's up? It's 1 a.m. That'd be sexual at best. Could you say, are you up? <laughs> say, you up, babe? What you wearing? I want you to know this would be my third beer on my eight beer limit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the timer starts once you lift it up and it ends when you put it down. He's going to do a slam so you can count. You can go beep as soon as it goes boom. And then as soon as the second hit goes down after he's finished is when it stops, obviously. That's allowed. I'll allow it. That was actually, that was kind of good. That was pretty good. I won't get much better than that. Or I might not beat it. I'm out of practice. Five seconds. That's okay. good. Is there dead ass room for 59 minutes? We've had some people on this podcast. <laughs> good work. You got this. Whoa! Whoa! That was quick. That was very quick. You know you're gonna lose the day that someone comes in there who can do that thing where they open their throat. And just you know when people down. just go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Close. You were actually good. really close. I think you'll remain pretty high in that board. Yeah, I don't. I think that's gonna be hard to For beat. Sure. Oh, you know that what we one. need, gentlemen? Yeah, well, Some shots. Yeah. Max. Oh, that one came in our PO box. Yeah, it could have cyanide in it, so I'm down. Can we get an edit of me eating me and then I and then I disappear when I go? We'll see what the goat can do. Only shots now. <laughs> Only shots now. <laughs> Only shots. Hey, cheers. <laughs> to Carl Jacobs in Rome. To the nights we'll never remember. Why is that so sweet? It's full of sugar. What the fuck is that? Is that even alcoholic? <laughs> Do you go to events at all? I used to a lot more. We haven't been able to because of COVID. Yeah, like we've been like, yeah. there's been no events here for over two years. We're gonna do PAX, which is coming up. It feels like you were a recluse before COVID even. Yeah, more more so than a normal person, for sure. Uh, the, the only exposure that I get from <laughs> Max Mofo is cold ones. And then when December comes, you'll do 18 Pokemon videos and then disappear. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up. You're, you've started streaming. Chad, fuck my life story. All right, we get your fucking c*** out. I'll show you my balls. Okay, sweet. Can we put that on Patreon? Oh, oh my God. God. They're bigger than mine. Those are some plump nuts. This is some I nuts, some big nuts. Can we put that on Patreon? Yeah. You know what's <laughs> insulting is Cutie says my nuts aren't that big. They're, They're huge. Big. I know. All right, man. What was the subathon like, man? No, no, no. You get, get, why you got in the streaming? That all you have to do another shot. I, I'll give you the skinny. I got fired from a bunch of fucking jobs. I had 8K in the bank account at the end. And I was like, I wanted 10K, but I was like, 8K is good enough. I started streaming full time. Had about like 100 viewers. And it picked up, it picked up, it picked up. And I got to about like, I want to say 1,000. I did a show called Twitch Jeopardy, which was the original Mogul Money before I renamed it. And then that got like a shit ton of views on YouTube. I got to like 5,000 and then it went up to like 10,000. Then I did Pog Champs, the chess tournament. Yes. It's like basically a bunch of shitty chess players all learning chess in the span of like six weeks and then firsting each other. Are the Botas twins part of it? They are like kind of coaches or commentators yeah, for okay, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that and then that blew up and then I got to like 15K. Then I did Among Us and I got to 20K. I nice. sat at 20K. Subathon hit. I watched a lot of that, by the way. Big fan. Did you? Yeah. You wanted to be there for when those last second ticked over. Like, you wanted it, like, you know, the people yeah. I was there because I didn't realize. I think one of the big things that was grabbing about it was it was always like five minutes left. So you, you tune in and be like, 
Surely no one's gonna gift any subs. That five minutes would last hours. Can I keep it a stack? Boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping half of it. Yeah, though, the right? content yeah. was mid yeah. during that. How much money did you make from that? Have you disclosed that? How yeah. Much? So How? it was uh it was 1.3 mil total. Yep. Like 40% go to taxes. Fuckers. I've been saying. Uh <laughs> I think 200 k went to my mods. Yep. That's crazy that yeah. you paid your mods that much that's i still pay them that's like unprecedented i give them all my donos right now it's funny too because other creators be like how much you pay your mods and i tell them they're like ah oh, fuck that <laughs> i think 300 something k to charity yeah and then i pocketed like like 300k yeah 300 400k something yep. like that i honestly when i saw you sleeping on stream i was like how he Did fucking like fucking came himself i came myself once yeah what 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 i came myself you wet dreamed i wet dreamed yeah i'm a decently frequent wet dreamer i would have thought the reason it happened was because you were on camera so much so you've never ejaculating because yeah. you're on camera would you be able to point out like oh that's where i woke up and i fucking in my pants you could tell I, I okay i'd have to look through but if you gave me all 31 days and it was me <laughs> getting up it's the day where i put my my blanket over myself and i just <laughs> okay. i hobble like this out the room it's the only day i did that <laughs> you, and you'd be like that's in his pants okay. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah, I think really? I think I'm gonna. Not the same. Like I, I have zero interest in being viewer funded anymore. I made enough from YouTube that I don't need to be given money by viewers. So yep. I dropped the sub amount from five dollars to one dollar. Yeah. And I would never do a subathon that's like, who wants to subscribe to me now? But I would do one that's like a charity based one. Yep. That's yep. like a finite thing. The idea I have is I want to live in a glass box that's totally filmed, this. like every angle. Mm -hmm. for like like just a week this literally sounds like my worst nightmare and then i just live in that box for as long as the donations keep going i you need to do something like that but have some sort of chat interaction mm -hmm. where, because that's the sort of stuff that i think people have innovated more and more as streaming has gone on and that's the sort of facet that i enjoy of it where it, people build stuff that's interactive with chat yeah like where you have obviously we started with fucking twitch plays pokemon and stuff like that and then you've had like lots of different things but if you had like a glass box and then there's all sorts of different things a in fucking there, paintball gun when you hit 100k right all tons uh, of, there'd be tons of different <laughs> shit that you could do that people would be like just wanting to fuck with you yeah yeah, this is a very weak alcohol one. Yeah, easy fucking with me. Small batch from Barbados in 2005? You guys have not been around that long. Cold Ones used to have their fucking headquarters was in Barbados in tw 2005. What? Yeah. Are you saying? We did. Cold Ones was a thing. Max, you were like Child 12. labor. <laughs> <laughs> Take the label off that. <laughs> okay. 55. Oh, that's not too bad. Pass me that. Oh. Dude, Wabi wasn't a pussy. He drank a Yeah, of course he's not. He's fucking 270 mate. pounds. He can put down alcohol like no other. What is that? What's the percentage on that? It's an Australian uh, underground spirit I would love from Canberra. Australian. You want an Australian one? Fuck Barbados. Can you say something funny in an Australian accent uh, and use a lot of lingo? That's heaps of alcohol, you right c no, an Australian wouldn't say that heaps of alcohol. You're heaps being dog ass. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're being dog ass. That's a good one. Cheers. Oh. It was heaps good, eh? Mm. Bit fit. That one is <laughs> oh, heaps good. Oh. <sighs> Fear vomit. Oh my fucking god, that was terrible. Yeah, it tastes better the first time we had it. Can you put up a gif of the Clint Stevens celebration Mario dance? Clint Stevens is a speedrunner. Hey, you a speedrunner? Yeah. I don't think this is going to be as interesting as we it's think it is. It's going to be a lot it's slower than you think like... it is. I can do off rip. I can do... I don't know what the fuck that means. I haven't even said a trick yet. Off okay. rip just means like oh, okay. off the top of my head. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. How about just start? What are the first two splits? Well, the first split is technically Bob on Battlefield, but the first trick is lack of two skip. Okay. If the camera guy comes down, you have to do a shot. And what if I hit it? Then you don't have to do a shot. I'll do a shot. No, it doesn't ah, count. Doesn't yes, count. No, yes. fuck you. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. No, 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 no. Double or nothing. Uh, Double or nothing. Know, Chad, when I tell you you are a piece of shit, I mean it with my whole heart. I know you do. Okay, so, so all right, you get two pickup attempts. I've never used this Nintendo 64 okay. controller. One pick up. You got one more drop. There you go. You said two. You said two. Okay, all right. You get one more go. 
No, I can't do two shots. One more, one more. I've never used this controller in my All life, right, one more, chat. One more, one more, one more. There it is. <gasps> Come on. Oh! One last trick, one last trick for the road. We're just gonna do Owl This is the okay. hardest trick that I know. Nah. Oh! That's it. But he gets nice, it done! Nice, nice, nice. I'll do one for that. I appreciate I, full that. Full respect. Full I appreciate respect. that. That was good. One shot with me. Not with that alcohol. I'll kill myself. Give me the other one. Uh, uh, okay, we'll have one each. You are the only person who has probably ever said to the CEO of YouTube the word come in an interview. <laughs> okay, so I did the interview, right? Okay, but you know you talked about that is fucked, fucked up. up. I didn't realize that. So what happened is I did the interview and I had to talk to like her social media team. It was like four different fucking people. She's got like a YouTube person, a, a social person, a, a video person. I talked to all them all about what I'm going to do and I let them all know. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I didn't tell them about that was a surprise was the people that looked like he was killing himself. And I was like, this will be a fun little joke to rattle her. She played off it well. But apparently while I was doing the interview, there was a viewing downstairs in my living room because we'd do it in the attic and I could hear them laugh. And I was like, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. And that was like my positive. It was like sh looking at chat. Yeah, it's a li live show. Yeah, yeah. It was like seeing some little yeah, W's. Yeah. The only part where they viscerally cringed is when I said the word. <laughs> <laughs> I showed her a people killing himself. I showed her like a goose ass. It was the word. <laughs> I was like, why? What was it again? What did you actually say? I just literally said like, hey, my girlfriend's podcast gets demonetized, but our pad podcast doesn't. We talking about pissing. And shit. Oh, uh, right. And, yeah, and I thought that was so exactly casual. Right, right. Yeah. But apparently, just the word. Like, I mean, I can, awesome. I, yeah, it's awesome, but I can also understand it from like a PR standpoint. You're sitting next to, uh, you know, it's a, it's a wise woman. You are like, you say, come, and so that it's a like going up. <laughs> this guy woman. was not trying to get demonetized. Well, honestly, you really <laughs> humanized her, which was great because I think the interview yeah. went really well. Yeah, it did. She, honestly, it she did. did very good. Yeah, and she. Seemed I don't like think a chill anyone person. has had the balls the way that you spoke to oh, her. Absolutely. I think I was still too pussy. There was a lot of times she goaded me to push her further. I would challenge her on something. She would reply, and I'd be like. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And then I'd move to the next one. Yep. And that was slightly nerves and slightly like I had a list of things I wanted to get through. Even on like the crypto shit, like first thing she said was like, yeah, I think crypto will be good. I was like, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then she made me. Yeah, I saw it specifically when we talk about NFT stuff. She was like, before we move on, she like re right. was like, do you have anything further? Like ask me anything at right. all. You look dumb as fuck right now, Susan, though. Come on, look at the NFT market. Come on, you look dumb. Admit it. No, we think you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know how I knew she was really cool? Is when she, she removed the dislike button. That was tight as fuck. Though. You gotta admit it. That was kind of gangster. Oh, yeah. She asked to watch the yard before she came on mm -hmm. the podcast. The episode before she came on, we had a maybe 10 minute bit about how there was a clinic of dogs wearing like medical suits and they would fuck like white women. Can you explain what you're talking about? It was nonsensical. We were literally just talking about this dog named Bruce who fucks white women and he would just go. So this is the episode before she she comes on, she asks like the YouTube guys, she's like, hey, can you give me an episode of The Art to listen to? And they listen to the podcast and they're like, yeah, we'll get you like the most popular one. She's like, no, I want the most recent one. Oh, no. And, and, and like in that bit, we talk about Susan getting... Okay. All right. Okay. And so I'm like, I hope she didn't watch that one. Do you know if she did or didn't? I'm pretty sure she did. Or didn't you see her actual phone? I did. That it was actually open on her phone. So it was open at the yard clips. And I think what happened is she listened to the yard podcast and she's like, yeah, okay, I'll go to the clips. Because <laughs> I think she listened to that app. Short, she's like, I'll go to the short me. formats. Yeah. We also have a ladder to get into our podcast space, like a literal the idea fire of that ladder. Is so funny to me. And then we have like a normal like attic ladder that's like on a 45 degree angle that you have to like you know climb up and we showed her the the easier one to climb up the 45 degree we're like go up this one susan she's like no what's like the way people do it normally okay and i was like i was like damn bitch you crazy well you know what's the funniest part is that same day she was meant to meet creators like some youtube creators from 100, 100 thieves mm -hmm. and they big dogged her <laughs> like wow. they no call no show day of they're like yeah we can't make it oh, to susan i would not <laughs> risk my channel <laughs> jeopardy that's what i'm saying do you think you reckon she has a little button on her phone where after the interview if she likes or dislikes gonna say you. that she, she, so she, she definitely probably has an app you know what happened is right after we filmed filmed that and released it, our Yard channel got eight episodes demonetized. <laughs> we had never gotten demonetized before, and then the moment she, she came on, and I, and, I said, and I said to her, I was like, yo, why does our channel not get demonetized when my girlfriend's podcast 
It does. And like the inconsistency is kind of weird instantly. And I'm like, well, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Do you know the law about Logwick? Wait, explain after he does a shot. Can you give me a baby? Okay. Ted, 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 a baby. A baby. <laughs> this is only 20%, so whatever I put in here is Chad! a baby shot. That's a baby it's shot. 20% though. It's Are awesome. you in Australia? Or not? <laughs> You're right on. <laughs> 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 there's heaps of alcohol in this, isn't it? No, he's, there's heaps of grog in that one. Heaps of grog in that one. <laughs> <laughs> and this <laughs> is funny. <laughs> you are reckon we're going to have heaps of fun tonight? Or? Oh, yeah. All right. Honestly, I was forced to. It was Say something. Sheesh. That's kind of good. <laughs> you have a dent in your chest. It's called a pectus excavator. How much money it's do I need to give you <laughs> to eat cereal out of it? How about you take a shot of it right now? I will. Okay, that sounds awesome. This is demonetized. All right, that's enough. That's enough. There we go. Is it gay to suck out of your friend's chussy? <laughs> oh, why did it taste better? <laughs> do you want to do one out of mine? He's got an extra pocket somewhere else. What? My asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have two pockets in my Get asshole. Show me your asshole. I have a segment that'll lead to okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. okay so. Okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> listen. Max, can I tell you something first? Uh-huh. I'm drunk. This Man. is why it's happening now. Okay. Man, I can't believe Ludwig is here. That's so funny. You know, we've <laughs> joked about this for like three years. Chad, shut up. All right. All right. <laughs> You've got a show that you do, right? Mogul money? He asked questions on that show. And we've noticed that when the guests get those answers wrong, you kind of look like a smug piece of shit. <laughs> Is that me doing it? <laughs> yeah, that's you. We, you kind of look like you're a know it all. You kind of look into the camera like, come on, man. Everyone knows the fucking longest fucking border to US and Canada, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> a yeah. host is a host. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions that come straight from your own show. <laughs> and we're going to see if you still know the answers. Yes, I do! We should have printed more. <laughs> Here's the stake. If you get it wrong, we're going to cut to you, you in the edit, gloating about the answer, and you're going to look... But Max, what if I get it right? Well, we expect you to get them right. You should get them right. So They're I get no que reward? Like, either your own question. If you don't get any of these wrong, I, you can take a full photo of my asshole. I want Max's asshole. No chance. Yes, I do. I want your ass. <laughs> no, no. You don't even get your ass. Not even that. No, I'll send it to you. You have it? I have it. <laughs> All right, give me the questions. Okay. All right. First question. Question. In 1972, this game became the first competitive <laughs> esports with a prize for winning of was a year-long subscription to the Rolling Stones magazines. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll the clip. Hack man, that is incorrect. You also didn't do a form of a question. <laughs> so <laughs> you said you're a dictionary. Chad, I'm a liar first and foremost. <laughs> hey, good on you. During the 2004 Pacers Pistons match, no way I asked. This, this player charged a fan, causing a massive fight. I asked this, Max. This is the dumbest fucking question. I never asked this in my life. There's no clip of this. I would never ask this. During the 2004 Pacers Pistons match, this player charged a fan during a massive fight. Will, who's run our test? That is correct. Let's fucking go! The massive children's toy company company Mattel, created. Mattel, shut the fuck up. This Pokemon has the most evolutions ever. That's easy. That. The most evolutions ever? ever? You said it. Eevee. Correct. Max. I was just trying wow. to think of what Max you said. said it out loud. No, I didn't. That's I easy. That. Yes, you did. That's so easy. There's no way you would it's get so easy. that wrong. This game company's name means leave luck to heaven. Nintendo. Ah. What is... Nintendo. I won't accept an answer. <laughs> Ring, the smart doorbell company, appeared on Shark Tank with this original name. Smart. What is Doorbot? Fuck! Time is up. It was called Doorbot. Scott, put him in a cool shirt, Woody. Cool shirts. They shrink when you wash them. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, I like that. They don't make yeah, that in my size. It's a pretty nice shirt. They don't actually make that in my size. Oh, this is an Australian game. Which NFL team made it into the four consecutive uh, Super Bowls but lost to everyone? <laughs> The yeah. Buffalo Bills, those shit. <laughs> Four Super Bowls, zero wins. Shut up. It's got to look weird in this jacket. This you should be good. easy. This is easy. This is easy. This is the oldest major soft drink in America. Dr. Pepper. Correct. Uh, even I know this one. What are the first six digits of pi? 3.1415. 
one six. Nah, wrong. You're getting that last digit wrong. Three point one four one five three. Three point one four one five two. Three point one four one five nine. It's nine. It's nine. Three point one four one five nine. That is correct. You're actually quite fit. I thought you'd be like really skinny and malnourished, but you look good. <laughs> How many inventory slots does the player have in RuneScape Classic? I know this too. I know he's gonna oh, get it wrong. Thirty. Yes. Roger Bannister. Oh, wait, what's the answer then? See, smug fucker. High jump. What is four? <laughs> so wrong. Put it in the wrong pile. Put it in the wrong pile. <laughs> no, what is the four question? <laughs> Roger Bannister became the first person to run a mile in under this many minutes. Four. <laughs> Cody. Four. That is correct. What, what is four? four? What is four? Minutes. This is the city that Ludwig van Beethoven was born in. Where was he born? Uh, I think he was born in Berlin, Germany. Nope. I think we'll accept. Munich. It's Bonn, Germany, but I'll accept Germany. I think we'll accept that. Bonn, yeah. Germany? I bon. asked for the city? Bro, that's a dumbass question. <laughs> this boxer is undefeated and has over 41 million followers across all social media. Floyd Mayweather. Jake Paul. <laughs> 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 what is Logan Paul? <laughs> oh my god. That is incorrect. You're an idiot. Was it Jake Paul? Yeah, it was. This bird has the largest wingspan. Albatross, of dumbass. This pizza chain uses the most boxes per year. Domino's, Correct. dumbass. What is? what is? These two countries share the longest international land border. What is U.S. and Canada? <laughs> Why'd you write I'm gay what on the back? Because <laughs> Prezzo is from Canada and he's gay. <laughs> this console is credited with revitalizing the U.S. home console market following the 1983 market crash. The Super Famicom. Nope. The NES. What is uh, Nintendo 64? That is incorrect. You stupid bitch. Is Keith? What is the NES? That is correct. I wasn't alive. Max, count these. How many did you get wrong? Okay. And how many did you get right? I got 11 here. 11 here. Okay, sudden death. <laughs> I'm going to ask the sudden death question. Chad, you have nothing prepared yeah. for this. What did a fan give you at TwitchCon? What? What did a fan give you at TwitchCon in 2019? Chad, at TwitchCon 2019, I had 120 viewers. No one came up to me at all. The only person who came up to me, genuinely, was pay money wubby and he came up and he asked for a picture yeah and he gave me his time and that's who i that's, that's my great. answer what was the answer to that a fan in 2019 came up and gave you a skins condom i lie you have to do this you have no say in this Log wig. do you want him to be known as the actual biggest pussy in cold one system 5.71 that's ain't even over there man <laughs> <laughs> you guys in that set Let's get into the you deep didn't even shit. Finish it now, fucker! You are a motherfucker. You Give me a trash can, I'll throw on, up and I'll drink walk. more. Get this man a bucket! Do you need help throwing up? <laughs> That's disgusting. Chad, I'll just look at you. I really need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, your ass is crazy. Listen, you said I'm a devout Catholic. You need your foreskin to get into heaven. I said that? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm reading. You started YouTube as the zany sidekick. Yeah, I was 16. You did COD videos. You were an alt-right channel. Whoa, whoa. There's a lot of funny clips from that video where you're trying to turn right the whole time while playing COD. That's I like very funny sounding as if you're trying to say that. And I wanted to do something to start out my channel right. And I couldn't think of anything. Um, so I just... I asked some advice on chat roulette and they told me um well a few penises and then but then the real some real nice guy for real he told me this he said think literally and then uh this this came out and if you haven't caught on by now I'm only turning right this game it was very contrived it, I was definitely a child who grew up watching Call of Duty mm -hmm. and who thought he would become a big Call of Duty commentator okay but my only experiences were from other Call of Duty commentators yes which isn't very genuine and so the result was me calling myself the zany sidekick the whole idea of being the sidekick is that I would call my viewers the heroes yes and zany was a, a random adjective generator. And it came up with zany, I was like, perfect. And my first video was called Starting Out Right, and I would only turn right, and I would win a free-for-all game. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant by out right. I yeah. You, yeah. I thought, no, sorry, I thought you meant something else. I did mean that. Oh. And I remember I sent my video to a couple big YouTubers, mm -hmm. and Eat My Diction replied. Who's like Eat a, My Dictionary. He was not called Eat My Dictionary. <laughs> dictionary. That's, what, that's what I called him, though. Eat My Diction replied to my, like, because you could DM people on YouTube back yeah, in the yeah. day. Oh, that was the shit. And he was like, great humor, bad mic, 
bad everything else. Mm-hmm. And I was like, thank you. That's 2010. Like, you know where I saw you talking about that? Like the um, Eat My Diction talking, yeah. telling you a thing. When you did that video with uh, Dr. K, where you were talking about that as like, he was bringing that up as something where the parasocial relationship where you were talking about when you were doing that sort of thing. Right. And yeah, I think that's, that is one of the most interesting things that you've done was put yourself out there with that kind of content. With because, the, Dr. K? Yeah, because I think that takes a lot of balls like to open up as much as you did and to decide to like, okay, let's go like full. You don't think so? I, I think I'm pretty vulnerable on the stream. I don't think there's a lot of things that I've hidden. Sh- sure, no, for sure. But it's having some Someone who's a professional, yeah. someone who's like psychoanalyzing you as it's happening in real time, going, "Hey, you're doing this because of this. Hey, you're doing." It's like it's almost hard to watch, and not not in a bad way, but it's like that is like in, super super interesting to see. It's like you're seeing uh, someone streaming their live therapy like the thing is you watch him and you have like an ego of okay well if i'm in that scenario i don't crack but then you talk to the guy and he's so patient and he's so understanding and he's so knowledgeable it's a genuine skill yeah. Yeah. that he has he of fucks like, him up of like he bringing fucks someone up. to their removing emo- people's defenses yes yeah. and he brings them to their yeah. emotional core and he can pick yeah. up on defenses very quickly and so like when he calls out your defense you can't use it well, I mean, with your thing, you were, you were doing the voice or whatever. Right. You were doing a funny voice. He's like, hey, yeah. I noticed you're doing a funny voice right now. How did that make you feel? I think it didn't matter because I had already quit at that point, but I thought it was cool that he replied for sure. What was cool about that? That he took the time for a young 16-year-old boy. Yeah, so we're going to point something out, Ludwig. Mm-hmm. You just changed your voice a little bit. Uh-huh. And, and yeah. you kind of made a joke out of it. You're like, yeah, it was like oh, a, like, was nice for a 16-year-old boy. Oh, my you're God. Ro- you're roasting me live on Twitch.tv. I don't, I don't know how popular he's on Twitch, but I remember he did big, he, yeah. he did have the stint of he'd get all the biggest streamers and all the biggest streamers literally like, oh, I'm going to go talk to Dr. K about this problem. And it won't be that big. And then they get there and they're like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and like I was saying, yeah. seeing someone, it's seeing someone's super private therapy session be live streamed, which is exactly almost what it is, is like very raw and very unusual to see. But it's so interesting, and I think a lot of people find that super interesting. And a lot of the comments that I see on those kinds of videos are like super positive, with people being like, "This is." made me want to go actually seek therapy or Mm -hmm. this has made me want to you know better myself in this way or that way well i've never done therapy right like outside of the dr k interview i've never seeked like therapy i was like uh, not anti-therapy but i was like no i'm fine my yeah. mental's fine. Yeah. But I, I met Dr. K and I was like, damn, I guess therapy can break you down real quick. Yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. And, I was, and, I, and I left that and I was like, I don't want to get broken down again. Fuck that shit. I'll right. just. I, I do like the Dr. K streams, but I also feel like it's really somewhat bad for some streamers to do it because they do get broken down on stream and they realize the effects of it, good or bad. And like, fuck. Like, they do go into it going, I cannot be beaten. And it's really, right, right, it's right. kind of embarrassing yeah. having it happen on stream. Uh, like, I was, I'm happy I did it and yeah. I wouldn't take it back. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Uh, it was, yeah. Do you have any interactions if you've ever had like a point where you've kind of gone to bed or thought back on something you've done in the past and like, I've overshared or I've, sp- anything like that? There is a couple weirdos that have come from me oversharing, mm-hmm. I think. Yep. And I, I regret that I've given them like any attention, mm-hmm. but I don't think any individual thing I've said is the problem. It's okay. more so like... Those people fucking blow. That's a good question. Thanks. Sure. You know, I've been hey, Chad doesn't yeah. miss sometimes, bro. Uh-huh. Oh, dude, I got a gag from that alcohol. What am I smelling? I'm going to throw up. Is it this? Maybe. Tell me more about how you love me. No, I'm not letting him fanboy in front of me. I feel left out. <laughs> There's this guy that's kind of coming for your glory. I go to tweet you a lot and I end up tweeting him. His name is Logwig. What? You ever heard of Logwig? You've never heard of Logwig? No. Check him out on Twitter. He's kind of the, he's like the French version of you. Max, I speak French. What the fuck do you mean? No, French French Logwig version. is French. Get Does he out. not know about Logwig? Passionné du folie. It is like a 55 year old man. He- in he is. It's long week. And That's he hasn't Logwig. tweeted in nine years. Yeah, yeah we he were got go- killed. Yeah, yeah, he did get killed because uh, he was talking about how Obama was bringing in the New World Order. Why do you and Prezzo tweet about or follow this guy? 
<laughs> what? I thought that was your alt. You when thought I'm... this was me. You're being dead ass. You thought this was yes, me. Yes, yes. Because that would have been funny. Well, Max, come on. <laughs> you thought that was me? I yeah, I, did, I, I didn't click on his profile pic. <laughs> yeah, I would hope I not. Thought that was I thought that was Ludwig alt. I offered the guy who owns at Ludwig. Ludwig. Every six months, I increase my offer because yeah. I keep getting more money. Right. And he's never replied to me once. I've offered six figures. Ludwig would be good. But second, Logwig. Logwig. He's inactive. He's dead. Yeah, I just feel like Logwig is a bit of brand confusion. No, take it. I got a cool segment. Tattoos. Whoa! You have tattoos? Ludwig, I know you got a tattoo on your ankle. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Slime tattoo. We, we should not give him any more shots. <laughs> what's the deal with slime? Tell us about slime. What do you mean, what's the deal with slime? I never see slime stream himself, but I see him everywhere else. Well, he's on the yard and I have him in a few videos. Yes. But he's also, not, he's funny. Like, he's he's very so funny. funny. He's, he's such a funny guy. And I got my name, his name tattooed on my leg for, mostly because I was feeling nice. Because we did a you laugh, you get the name tattooed on uh, your body. Right. I did a similar thing with my friends, but I did it. To make money. So, well, what happened is he was losing, okay. and I fake left to tie. So you're G. I just felt bad that he was only tattooing my name on his body, so I was like, I'll tattoo oh, your so name you on both. my good body. Friend. Good friend. Good mate. Good mate. That's cool. Good yeah, mate. but his my name's on his ass. And then the other tattoo I have is when I got a thousand subs on Twitch. Is that yeah. it? Is that, that all it took? It's yeah, that's the one I was gonna bring up. Twenty five hundred dollars. I had a marbles game, Chad. It was a random ass fucking thing that could be tattooed to my. What on the my fuck ankle. is that, man? What do you think it is? I can't. It looks like a prime it, crown. It with, looks like oh, nothing. Oh. It's Jigglypuff's crown from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Like, what do you mean yeah. her crown? She what wears a crown. 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 It's one of her old oh, skins. Oh, one of the, the, the skins. On okay. top of a bowl of cereal. That looks like shit. I kind of hope you die now. My roommate Nick did it at Falco. He did it stick and poke, prison style. That's a stick and poke. That doesn't look like a stick and poke. It felt like a stick and poke. I kind of want to let stick and, uh, Falco do a one on me now. He would that to you if you wanted. I will let Falco with stick and poke right now. If you do a shot with me, put the yard <laughs> on my ass. <laughs> oh my God. And I have to offer nothing in return. You have to do a shot. Of what alcohol? The worst one we got. I'm going to throw up, Max. You have to do wait, that. Wait, let that me, let me get a tattoo on his get, body. That's get, fair. Lovely. Fine, but I also get to kiss Max on the lips. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> he said that too quick. Done deal. You're living the rock star lifestyle, bro. Fuck you. This is like, think this about artists who are traveling produce. around. Eat shit. Is it 80 proof? Is it 160? Do you want the 96 proof? No, kill yourself. Take 80. I'm going to throw up before I drink it. Don't light the table on fire. What's the time? It's been about four hours and 73 minutes. All right, cheers. It is lit on fire, just for the record. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of tight. Cheers, my still on fire. Ludwig, 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 cheers, cheers, mate. You bloody ripper. He didn't drink it all. He didn't drink it all. More Ludwig. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Ludwig, come on, 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 Ludwig, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Ludwig, come on, 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 Ludwig, Ludwig, legend. Breathe through this, breathe through this. I'm sorry for vomiting. Okay. I think lighting on fire metal worse. Motherfucker's vomiting into the bucket. At least he's good at it. It's not that bad. He's just a pussy. I ain't kissing you on the lips now. You have to. That was the agreement. <laughs> oh my god. Why he throws Whoa. up? What is this? Wait, let me go some dip, man. No, don't you dip. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't actually dip that. I accidentally touched the side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said eight drinks and you fucked me. Shout out to Ludwig for buying us all Krispy Kreme donuts. He bought us a whole basket. How many people throw up on this podcast? I don't think anyone has. What? You've also been the most bullied. You have subjected me to a lot. I think you've had the most peer pressure. You felt like you could do that because I was young and American? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you gag after it? Because I was picturing your vomit. <laughs> <laughs> You've obviously disclosed a lot of information because you've done so many streams. So many. What have you not told everyone? Give us like an exclusive. There's got to be some crazy shit but in the back of your head locked away in the vault. Something gay. <laughs> One time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. One time mm -hmm. in high school. Me and my guy friends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, no, you spit. That was honestly the worst shot. Judge! 
sorry, he's getting intimate. You get a sleepover? Mm -hmm. You ever jerk off at a sleepover? No, no, I remember, no. But yeah. I have several times. Okay. Occasionally, my friend would fall asleep and I'd jerk off because I was a what horny have teenager. I walked back yeah, into. that sounds that Chad, sounds fine. shut the fuck up. Sorry, continue. That. This one sleepover, three of us mm -hmm. out of four okay. yeah, arose at 3 a.m. We all want to jerk off. Let's see how big each other's dicks are okay. and compare them. Okay. Okay. And we compared dick sizes. Might have been 16 at the time. Okay, so you better say 16 inch, but yeah. So we all get up in yeah. the middle of the night, and we all go to a corner of the room, and we try to get as rock hard as we can, <laughs> with the goal of coming back at the end to measure whose dick was the biggest. Okay. And you're all closing your eyes. You're picturing something to get rock hard, or no? We have phones. It's you're or you're all 13, standing. Oh, okay. It's like if Chad went there, I, you went there, I went there. Oh, you're in different corners. We're okay. in different corners. Okay. You're all rush into the middle and go quick look quick, what quick. i got look what i got look get what i got rack, get the ruler the okay here's the weirdest part one of our friends at the sleepover sleeping during all of this okay and we didn't want to wake him you didn't come on him did you no okay yes okay all right let's all go to the corners right now no that's no, not i right. can start chad yeah okay logwood no. give us your money how much no. of money no. <laughs> no. oh you know this motherfucker goes <laughs> you ever see that interview with Justin Bieber into in where he's like laughing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be because yes. the interviewer does that. Yeah. Yes. And he goes, I like your laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I need to take control because you guys are fucked up. Oh. Going forward. No, fully, fully going forward. <laughs> fully forward. Oh. No. <laughs> so, you know, Mogul Money Live. Absolutely. I just did that. It got 150k viewers live, which I felt good about. 5,000 people showed up in person. I felt good about that. So what's next? What's the next one? So I have a few. I have a Smash Bros tournament. It's going to be the largest invitational ever. I'm inviting the 100 best players in the world to come compete. And we can be celebrity fucking players. You guys could... Can we show up and at least drink a beer? Show up and drink a beer. 100%. Thanks, I appreciate hey. that. You're good, man. And then I have a chess boxing event. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Which sounds great. Every mistake made an opportunity to strike. Check. And when the ashes settle, only one will be crowned the victor. Check me. Victory. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the thing is, events get me kind of torqued about the future because I work towards it and then it happens and it's really hype. Like Mogul Money took four months to make, but the yep. like the build up towards it was hype and then the actual doing of it was really fun Good, and yeah. it got a, a lot of praise. Yeah. And so it's like I like those events. And so the future is just doing more of them on a more consistent basis. Has YouTube, because I know you've spoken before about how the process of when you were going back and forward between Twitch and YouTube and you were saying you were flipping a coin and you filmed it. It. You went to YouTube and you felt like YouTube wanted to fight for you and Twitch didn't. Has YouTube nowadays actually given you anything extra to help you make these things? Because I remember you talking about how they were like, what if we did this? Or what if we were able to do this? We can't give you more money, but we can make it possible for you to do blah, blah, blah. But you weren't exactly like, you were kind of vague on what that was. Like, have they been able to help you with any of the stuff that you want to do moving forward? Yeah, I certainly think I'm in a better spot than most people on YouTube. Like, you you fucks, for instance. We're drinking be a man. But like Schlatt told me, Schlatt told me, he's the guy. And I called a bunch of creators before I switched over. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And Schlatt told me, he's like, bro, if they're paying you that much money, they probably will like need you to succeed. Okay. And so, and, and I've kind or, of. Or else it's a waste of money. It's exactly. Right but, right? but I've yeah. ridden that mental, like that mentality as far as you can take it yeah. to a point that I've probably gone too far. I've also been very critical of YouTube. I've been more critical of YouTube since switching than I was before. But wouldn't you say that's beneficial for them that they've signed someone that is, you, they don't want to sign uh, as a business perspective. I wouldn't want to sign someone to kiss ass. I want to sign I someone. I mean, it's 50-50. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. there's some people who are like, damn, I wish you wouldn't talk so much shit. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Have they actually helped you with any particular yes. thing? First of all, setting up the Susan interview was all them. Yeah. Because okay. I, I tweeted out of the blue. I was like, Susan, let's do an interview. That's right, a joke. So that spawned from a tweet. Yes. Which was a joke. And then she was like, sure. And then they actually did it. Okay. Yeah. So that was insane. And then also general shit, like um, if I have issues with like a few YouTube YouTube kinks whether it's demonetizing or like bots or whatever it is right. yep 
I feel like I have someone to reach out to, but there's a lot of things that are slow on. I mean, they're a bloated ass company with like thousands of employees that take six months to do something. Yep. So that's why I made Truffle, which is like the company that I, uh, I'm a founder of that has the extension yep. that makes YouTube just better on a faster pace. And the cool thing about it is we made an extension to make YouTube better and more like Twitch and, uh, and YouTube has reached out like a few times and they're like, what are you guys up to? And we tell yeah. them and they're like, cool. I mean, without sucking your own dick, would you say that you've kind of, I mean, I'm sucking your dick a little bit, but would you say that you've kind of helped with the dev team? Cause you, YouTube live isn't perfect, you know? I mean, we'll see, like they're, yeah. they're slow as fuck. So I don't yeah. know if they'll actually pick up anything we've done, but yeah. I think at the very least we have proven that you can do things on a quicker basis and for a broader audience. Cause it's not just me that uses the extension, it's Myth and Lily Pichu and yeah. Sykuno's getting it and Ray will get it soon. And so it's like all the big YouTube streamers when you, have it. When you converted over, that was like- Everyone the, who's converted. Yeah, it's, it's though, like, yeah, right. yeah it's, it's really good to see that, that ease being made for like, users and I, I mean like you know i'll always say that that extension was really great for the transition with moving yeah. over to youtube I mean, switching over raw yeah. sucks like if you yeah. switch from twitch to youtube like today like no bag in hand it, yeah. it's a like very noticeably worse experience in some aspects and so i think it covers those bases yeah which um super mario character would you want to fuck okay Grab my, grab my hand. Grab my hand when you say it. Grab my hand when you say it. Count this? No. Yeah. Non humanoid. Then yes. Oh, sorry. Non humanoid. Sorry. Non humanoid. Wait, why? Non humanoid at all. Birdo. 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 Oh, Birdo. Oh, fair. I fair, fuck Birdo. 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 Fuck Birdo. Suck. Many times over. Birdo. Many times Birdo. over. Birdo. Um, I must I'm, say, though, I'm very excited to see what the future holds with <laughs> everyone moving. <laughs> Do you know Samir? Yes. From where? Um, from helping with other people switch streams? What? Samir? The woman? No. I had no idea. Who are you thinking of? Samir? Oh, yeah, brunette woman. Samir, he's <laughs> nuts on your face. Come on. Come on. All right, man. I'm thinking of a legit. I'm thinking of a brunette woman. <laughs> she doesn't exist. I'm thinking of a brunette. You made her up you're in your head. A, you're I'm cruel. thinking of a brunette woman. You are cruel. Woman stream from I you're in a, yeah, an I've animal. never felt love. You're fucked up. You're the. You're the. I think the worst person we've ever had on the show. You're the worst guest I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching Ludwig. Watch your Twitter handle again. What is it? Ludwig. Uh, who Ludwig. gives a shit, At bro? Ludwig. At, Ludwig's at Ludwig. Ludwig. No matter what happens, you guys both convinced me to drink more than I wanted to tonight. Yeah. This man said eight beers. We're gonna keep going, right? We're gonna keep going. This man said eight beers. We ain't stop. I will never stop. Thanks. Oi, be sure to check out the Patreon, the extended cut, everything that Ludwig That's said. That's Ludwig was, says the M word. Ludwig said a ton of racist shit. We couldn't include it on YouTube. There's so much of it. Patreon. Let's get it! The Patreon video is actually so much longer than this one because of the amount of racist stuff that he said. And we will see Ludwig, you in the next Ludwig, episode. Ludwig, shout out YouTube channel. Fuck you.